Hello everybody and welcome back to Live with Roger Hansen. Today I am on the topic of conspiracy specifically. I am go we're going to be discussing uh, uh, COVID and the COVID epidemic. Now uh, I'm here with my co-host Karma Love. Uh, say hi, hi everyone. Guys. There you go. And Do Better is here with me too. If you want to say hi, Do Better. Hey now. <laughs> okay. Uh, now, besides uh, COVID, I also mentioned in my post that uh, I don't only want to discuss just COVID because, in my opinion, we really need to talk about the whole history of vaccine and and where people have had their issues with vaccines you know what i mean because it, it it has to do with that as well as like gmos that's another thing that a lot of people don't want to discuss is like genetically modified uh, materials mm -hmm. that are being put in these vaccines and medicine in in particularly you know so uh you guys are right with that? Yeah, no, I'm definitely uh, right with the subject. What about you do better? Yeah, 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 I'm good. Okay. So, uh, um, what I did is I pulled up some of the stuff that I, uh, that I had that I, a long time ago, it's been a few years ago, I ain't gonna say a long time ago, but, uh, I actually did some research on uh, the vaccines. And have you guys ever heard of the Minamata disease? No. Minamata. No. Negative. Okay, now um, I'll pull up the Wikipedia for you. That way you guys can see it. But Minamata is basically um, caused because of mercury. Here, I, actually, let me, let me go ahead and read it to you. And I can uh, post the, the minimata up for you. Uh, windows, no. Yeah, here we go. You guys see that? Mm -hmm. okay. Keep forgetting I'm muted. Mine's yeah, is, I see it. Mine's is black. I don't see anything. Hold on. Well, oh, oh wow! Right I think I know somebody that has this disease. I uh can read it. He didn't. He didn't call it that though. He called it something else. Can't remember what he called it. No, I can read it and everything. Yeah, cool. So, that, yeah. if you want, okay. Minamata disease is a neurological disease caused by severe mercury poisoning. Signs and symptoms include ataxia, numbness in the hands and feet, general muscle weaknesses, or weakness, loss of peripheral vision, and damage to hearing and speech. And in extreme cases, in extreme cases, insanity, paralysis, coma, and death follow with weeks of the onset of symptoms. A congenital form of the, the, of the disease affects fetuses in the womb causing microphaly, extensive cerebral damage and symptoms similar to those seen in cerebral palsy. Minamata disease was first discovered in the city of Minamata, Kumamoto Prefecture, Japan in 1956, hence its name. It was caused by the release of methyl mercury in the industrial wastewater from a chemical factory owned by the Chiso Corporation, which continued from 1932 to 1968. It was also been suggested that some of the mercury sulfate in the wastewater was also metabolized to methyl mercury by bacteria in the sediment. This highly toxic chemical bio 
accumulated and biomagnified in shellfish and fish in Minamata Bay and the Sharanew Sea, which when eaten by the local population resulted in mercury poisoning. The poisoning and result resulting deaths of both humans and animals continued for 36 years while Chizo in the Kumamoto Prefectural Government did little to prevent the epidemic. The animals effects were severe enough in cats that they came to be named as having dancing cat fever. As of March 2001, 2,265 victims have been officially recognized as having Minamata disease, and over 10,000 have received financial compensation from Chizo. By 2004, Chizo had paid $86 million in compensation, and in the same year was ordered to clean up its contamination. On March 29, 2010, a settlement was reached in comp uh, to compensate as yet uncertified victims. And I, there's a second break, but I just wanted to kind of go through that and uh, let you guys hear about it and uh, see what your thoughts are on that. You guys there still? Yeah. Yeah, I was talking on mute. <laughs> but I just find it interesting because remember we were talking about with Tesla and then he had that disease from the water as well. The the it was coming from contamination of like um the water and it was uh, for a certain that, type of it was a, a, a cholera. Cholera, yes, yes, cholera. I don't have my notes pulled up, so I just didn't want to say the wrong name of the actual disease. But it's crazy to me because it has the same, well, not the same, but similar parallel um, symptoms. And mm -hmm. so my thing with the situation is, is it does not seem like it's strategically implemented, then what does it look like? Because, like, how does it pop up all of a sudden and then it disappears? Yeah. Well, see, the thing, too, that brought me to this story was the the whole thing behind mercury and uh, back when I first started uh, checking out the conspiracy theories quote unquote you know um, I started finding out about the vaccine that they're using for uh, girls or well, I guess they're really trying to even push it on boys for HPV okay mm -mm, no and uh, originally they were putting freaking mercury in that uh, vaccine and it was actually causing uh, problems and hurting people um, and I think they stopped putting mercury in that uh, back in the early 2000 at one time at least somebody pointed it out to me but that was uh, one thing that really got to me and, and they've been using mercury for quite a long time when it comes to uh, vaccines and stuff of that nature and for me just period using uh, mercury in any kind of medicine is just insane I don't understand why right. why people yeah. would, would do that yeah the links to um, uh, what is it uh, not Alzheimer's or no not Alzheimer's um, Asperger's uh, and whatever the, the kids are getting you know yeah um, what, what is it called? Um, not it's like it's not Asperger's. It's a little bit more severe. Let me see here. Uh, mm -hmm. They they had it on there too. I was going through and pulling up all this stuff. Autism. Uh, autism. autism. That's yeah. It. yeah, it's uh like getting linked to this, but there's other scientists that are refuting that there's no no link to no correlation to mercury or any kind of vaccine causing autism mm -hmm. but but uh yeah the people that are saying that there are links they show their evidence and 
like prove how it is and but they're the people that are you know how the they pay for uh, any kind of study and research to you know research studies to be found whatever for the corporations not for yeah. for the people in favor of the corporations right yeah now yeah. see I'll go ahead no I was just saying the people with the money are the ones that control the data exactly yeah. exactly yep. now the uh, one thing with uh, with that too with like the research and everything if you notice as well they'll always throw examples of well this works for this and it worked out pretty good you know like like for well, a good example would be lithium okay lithium helps people who are schizophrenic and stuff like that and the, it has lead in it all right that's Ooh. actually one of the basic substances for lithium um and they put it in there and they say well lithium actually helps and blah 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 you know so they're giving kids freaking lithium that's lead based and, mm -hmm. and as a farm to treat something that's mentally based and you know do things with thought process and yep and now they're poisoning themselves and it says so that they have to and it's going to feel well, I, I, I personally have a problem with uh, giving medicine to younger kids because, like, that's the time period when these kids have to freaking mature, you know what I mean? And, and their bodies are going through changes as it is. So you, you don't need to be giving them freaking pharmaceutical medicine for freaking, you know, mental disorders and shit by the time they're six years old. I just I don't agree. Yeah, with that. the the prime time of their development, and then they're saying, and then they talk about how even like men's temporal lobe, frontal excuse me, frontal lobe does not fully develop until what I think it was twenty one or twenty three. I don't remember the exact age, but just imagine giving. And then no offense to any men on the stream, but like men are usually the ones who exhibit higher levels of ADHD. But that's just activity. They didn't say they put these labels on it, but men are used to, like if we like domesticated our wildness in general for men and women and men are used to being outside hunting and doing stuff and so then when they're not able to just sit in the classroom and stare at a board they're they labeled have as, yeah have mentally yeah like mentally challenged or adhd they have issues but that's the thing because they're still developing and that's why they take advantage of being able to find any type of discomfort or just some type of discontentment. Like, this doesn't seem right. This doesn't fit into our mold. So, it's a problem. And so, let's throw some medicine yeah, we've, in you. We live in upside down, backwards world. And, like, it's no measure of, of uh, whatever to be well adjusted to a profoundly sick society. However, that, that's, that whole saying goes. And we <laughs> use the... <sighs> The, we, we claim to be giving health and, you know, mental health, regular health, and it's all actually hurting us more and keeping mm -hmm. us at, at a level of discomfort, just, just mm -hmm. enough to, to keep on going and, and living, surviving, but we're not able to thrive and... And you don't know your discomfort that you're uncomfortable because it's presented to you as this is what this is how you're supposed to act. Zombie mode is what's acceptable. So you are uncomfortable because you know that something's off. That's why people end up getting worse a lot of times, especially when you get the medicine, because the things like the side effects, if you listen to the side effects of a lot of these drugs, it'll tell you basically, hey, we're going to end the symptoms you're already having. Hear voices in your head, you may hear more. Already feeling paranoid, well, wait till you take some of this. Right. He, you know, <laughs> and you're like, these are the labels, but it's like, but there's a chance that it might subside. And then the craziest part about all of it is nine times out of ten people are given placebos which drives them their right treatment. right all these uh medical professionals that claim to know or, or especially in the mental health industry claim to know what they're talking about they're stabbing in the dark they have no clue what they're talking about never if even it, experienced it. when it when it does work it's like 
wow, it actually worked. Oh, yeah. Just crap. one person. Let's see if we can <laughs> yeah. a massive group. Get a bunch of participants. And, so and, incentive. and it doesn't even work, quote unquote work. It, all it does is keep people just enough medicated so that they're not actually questioning their un illegitimate authority. Yeah. Now, have you guys ever heard of Thermosol? The, the Marisol? Not exactly. I'm no. sure I've is heard it of it somewhere, but I can't remember that one. Is it not something for like flu or something? No, that the Marisol is, is a mercury contained compound that prevents the growth of dangerous bacteria and fungus. It is used as a preservative for yeah, flu vaccines in multiple dose files to keep the vaccines free from contamination. Yeah, I think that's what it is. Now, thermosol is also used during the manufacturing process for some vaccines to prevent the growth of microbes. In 1999, as a precautionary measure, the U.S. Public Health Service recommended removing ther thermosol as a pre preservative for vaccines to reduce mercury exposure among infants as much as possible. Today, except for some flu vaccines in multi-dose vials, no recommended childhood vaccine contains thermosol as a preservative. In all other recommended childhood vaccines, no thermosol is present or the amount of thermosol is close to zero. No reputable scientific study has found, no, ha have found an association between thermosol and vaccine and autism. Now, I think that's what kind of what uh, 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 yeah you're what I was talking about, about. Mm -hmm. there are two different components that contain mercury uh, and that's ethyl mercury and mytho methyl mercury the low levels of eth ethyl mercury mercury in vaccines are broken down by the body differently and clear out of the blood more quickly than methyl mercury so I figured I'd pull that up and uh, that that's kind of a what I uh, I remember going through that and they were talking about that with the uh, thermosol and stuff like that so I had that pulled up earlier and, uh, what do you see as the necessariness of vaccinations, just in general, not just COVID, but just in general? What do you see as, like, are they something that you feel are, though, necessary in order for us to maintain healthiness? Or it's just because it's cause they, in most, almost all of them, I'm not mistaken, you're getting a little variant of the actual disease or virus itself in regards to hopefully heal it. But that's what causes the side effects if your body rejects this. So what do you feel like it's really a way to help and like they're necessary? Well, let me just ask this though I mean why do we need a freaking dangerous freaking mm -hmm. uh, substance to be injected in uh, no a dangerous preservative uh, added to this supposed vaccine mm -hmm. I mean to keep it to keep it stabilized to keep it fresh right to keep it from, <laughs> yeah. yeah you're right and, and they're doing that crap in foods too I mean, yeah, you, process. That's how you can get foods that it won't expire to like May 2024. And it's like, what the heck are you putting in here? The most unhealthy thing a person can do is go to a restaurant, okay? Because <laughs> they, they put all this crazy shit. They put stuff in your food that women put in their makeup. Oh, I don't even make me vomit. Stop. I was just reading the stuff that's in makeup. I can't even pronounce the words. Crazy. And if you cannot pronounce it, then that's how you know it's not for you. Like, that's how I learned about my skincare and my face routine. Because if you cannot pronounce the stuff 
then you should not be using it at all because it means that it's something dangerous. All and anything, anything, whether you're whether it's food or whether it's makeup. Like I don't do much with makeup, but I do. Like I have my toners and stuff like that for me to do my natural skincare routine. But when you have stuff to where you're unable to pronounce it, it should not be going in or on your body. Are you are you on a Bluetooth device? Karma? I'm on my headphones, yeah. And you got a, car. you got a, oh, okay, the car noise, okay, that's what it is. I'm hearing car sounds. I thought it was something else, but cool. Yeah, no, I'm headed to basketball. Gotcha. No, it's, uh, mentions on here too that, uh, the, the, the flu vaccine, it's, it's, a uh, it's a preservative. Uh, in multi-dose files of flu vaccines and two other childhood vaccines and it's used in the manufacturing process now they mentioned two other childhood vaccines but they don't want to name what elaborate those two, yeah mm-hmm. they don't want to name what those two childhood vaccines See, the, are the issue is that they they do this stuff and they put out the information like yeah here this is the science behind it but no one's going to read it that's what the notion is they know that because they've they've qualified the the scientists by indoctrination and Mm -hmm. that you can't understand what the scientists are saying because it's a whole different jargon Mm -hmm. just like the legal Side, the you know mm-hmm. the law it's got its own set of definitions and shit they jumble them all up together in a nation of adhd people just like your terms in agreement you'll just go ahead and accept it because mm-hmm. who cares so hey you're giving us the right to monitor you we told you we're doing it you just failed to look at it failed to read the we should all numbers. we should all have understanding of the process and access to the process so that we can yeah. question these things and be able to know what is going into our food and our injections and whatever the hell, you know? In a way yeah. that makes it understandable. Like, they do not exactly. write a whole long 10 page nonsense. We don't understand this scientific method. I mean, we do, but not everyone understands the scientific method of your data and your research. So you should be able to give it. If I require slideshows and picture shows to understand what's happening, then that should be presented as an option for me to at least know what I'm getting. But the thing is that everyone's test dummies, they're guinea pigs. They don't really have a desire to teach people anything. They have a desire to get their agenda across. Which, and so yeah. I'm, I'm turning. I'm going down the street now that goes, it's called Neo City Way. Like, we've been talking about Neo everything. We've been talking about Neo <laughs> Play. Isn't, like, isn't that crazy? And yeah. then there's a street that we're turning down. It's Neo City. And it's Wait just wild. Wait she sees something called A and or E. A O and yeah. And then I start going crazy because of Taluma and like, Jesus, goodness gracious. It's just wild to me because it's so many different things that are literally right in front of our face that we just kind of brush off and graze over because it's not directly affecting me, is it? Yeah, it's breaking down your whole entire genetic composite. Now, people have no clue how detrimental the stuff that they put in their body or can be, depending on what it is. Granted, we have ways to fight and be able to be immune to certain things. And also, I understand that being subjected to certain things is how you developed it immunity to the things like okay there's uh i want to where were these kids at i think it's the dutch i don't want to say the wrong people the netherlands and they put their kids outside in the cold and and it's normal stuff for them for them to build an immunity to cold weather but see things like that looks at you even if it's building your immunity you're still what are you putting them at risk at oh they're not going to get your cold it's not no big deal because we bundle up good it's blah 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 there's every excuse as to why it's no big deal because if we show you why it is a big deal you might not let us do it it might be an issue <laughs> now see the the thing that gets and that's with everything it, it goes deeper than even that like I, like with all this stuff that's going on with the, the vaccines like people are actually fighting because they're upset that that thermosol was taken out of the vaccines okay and the thing about it is it was freaking uh done by the u.s uh public health service they're the ones that decided that this stuff needed to come out of it you know what i mean 
and yeah. like, like all these you know people who support vaccines are just so eager to bash anti-vaxxers like they're just horrible people and and the truth of the matter oh, is no. it was the u.s public health service that decided this stuff didn't need to be in it you that know? it was dangerous right uh-huh. But see, that's their way of building trust because they're the ones who also are putting it out. So if I look like I'm attempting to save your <laughs> life, I'm going to take this out and put in something different. What am I replacing it with? Now, hold on. No, they're they're trying to say too that thermosol isn't freaking dangerous. But if it wasn't dangerous in some way, why would the health department do that? You know and I, mean? I just saw something on here that said that it can kill. It's dangerous. It's lethal. Yeah, it's lethal. Like, yeah, this this, this study saying that it's not dangerous is a big obfuscation to really, you know, just sidetrack that it is dangerous. Yeah. It's like, uh, it says here that, uh, why is thermosol still in some flu vaccines that children may have? And their best answer to that is to produce enough flu vaccines for the entire country. Some of it must be put into multi-dose vials. So it goes right back to the thing. It has to do with uh, manufacturing and they have to freaking use pr- uh, preservatives. So this dangerous freaking uh, part or preservative it is needed to go onto this vaccine because they need to make a lot of it. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's, it's not Roger, even... I have to bail out early. Oh, I was fine. just telling you to you know. I mean, I'm going to I'm gonna attempt to listen as best as I can, but because I'll be inside the gym, the signal might be few and far between. So I'm going to keep you on my headphones, but I'm not going to talk because it's going to be ridiculous that I'm not going to read out. Oh, but I would fine. like to listen. And if I can, I'll talk, text in the chat. But sometimes the um, signal goes choppy. But I am, like I just and do better. Thanks for coming. And, yeah, yep, yep. And so, I'll be, like I said, I'm going to listen, but I just would like to let you know if you feel like I'm inactive, oh, I'm paying fine. attention, I just might not have signal. But okay, that's the yes. um, All right, I mean, I'm here <laughs> tomorrow. I know we have our whole thing, but thank you. No problem. But yeah, it's like, uh, that's the thing that caught my mind, or my, my attention, you know what I mean? Because it's, they're, uh, it, it's just a preservative, you know what I mean? And and it, it's not like they've been doing this here recently. They've been doing it for years, you know. Why is it so important that they have to have mercury-based uh, preservatives put in with this supposed vaccine that works? It's not even a part of the vaccine, you know? Yeah. That's uh, one thing I wanted to bring up. Um, now, uh, another thing that I also found out when it came to uh, these vaccines and everything is like the government uh, implications with it. Like, uh, have you ever heard about the polio eradication uh, program in Indonesia? In the CIA no so, so uh, what I found out there about that was um, wait, no polio eradication that was actually in Pakistan during uh, during freaking our occupation of Afghanistan so that was during the time whenever they were uh, trying to find Obama and they were uh, one to find him <laughs> and kill him you know Obama or Osama? Wait, what? I can hear her. I can't hear. I didn't know there was a world hunt for Obama last time. She's never put that together before. What? You're just making sure to see if I was still listening. Let me test the farmer to see if she's still listening. I found it. Spot with good signals. I'm going to be over here in the corner until they start to think. <laughs> now this kind of goes back to another incident that happened in uh, Southeast Asia. It's a uh, or in Indonesia, um, the CIA uh, was caught with their hands in the cookie jar. Basically, uh, the CIA it was a covert action program in Indonesia, which was uh, exposed. Um, after a contract pilot by the name of Alan Pope was shot down 
and that's because he was flying where he wasn't supposed to be so whenever that happened a lot of information came out and uh, the CIA was exposed for uh, a lot of dirty stuff concerning uh, these vac vaccinations that they're doing overseas um, and the reason why they're doing it is because there's certain religious factions around the world who refuse to take these vaccines because of the contents that are inside the vaccines. It's against their religious beliefs. Right. And uh, the majority of people who believe that way are also freaking a part of the same religions that uh, have terrorists inside of them. So what the United States government did is started sending CIA agents into these uh, vaccination programs that are going overseas and giving vaccines to uh, people in d other countries. So, that so like what Bill Gates has been doing. Yeah. But just a long time ago. This, uh, that actually, uh, not just Bill Gates, um, What's his name? How early it was a long time ago, and how long was a long time ago? Um, well, the the thing it, the thing that happened with uh, Indonesia that happened in uh, 1958. So this this goes back, you know what I mean? This 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 is something that's been going on for a while. So yeah, being, they can't. They can't change us through the propaganda. Now that they're, they're gonna, you know, push the change to get us, you know, in line and more controlling and all that kind of stuff. Yeah, and and they make you the feel vaccine. like you need it. They'll put they instill fear in you. Uh -huh. Yeah, it's it. Yeah, they, it's an it's the implementation of non-existent fear, non-existent fear. They make you feel like, oh, if you don't do this, this horrible, horrible thing is going to rain down on you. But like literally, how can every single vaccine takes years and years and years of development? They came out with COVID, and what was it, six, seven, eight, maybe eight months? And mm -hmm. by eight months, we had something to completely, supposedly, supposedly wipe out this. And you you'll be think? Fine, but it's so you crazy. think that it took eight months for them to actually? start look, trying to make a vaccine and then they actually put it out no they already had it ready they, waiting they were working yeah, on it as no they already, the disease had it. they already had it stored, as a matter of waiting, fact i would say ready to go exactly elon Musk shared something on twitter and it was basically showing the percentages of it going down of the um effectiveness and it's crazy because by the time he got to the end of it by the time he got to the end of his like slide show thing you think it was like at like 29 or 30 something percent and it was just wild because it's just like really so basic maybe it was 18 but it's okay so that's wild to me because it goes from 100 percent effective to now you need boosters now you need just like if this one is 100 percent effective why would i need a booster yeah <clears throat> now what happened in uh, uh, Pakistan was President Obama uh, announced the U.S. Central Intelligence Agency had uh, located and killed Osama bin Laden, right? Um, and that was in 2011. So the agency organized a fake hepatitis vaccination campaign in uh, Abadaban, Pakistan. And that was in a bid to obtain DNA from the children of bin Laden to confirm the presence of the family in a compound and sanction the, the rollout of risky and ex extensive operation. That's what the article says. So they went in and they posed as this uh, hepatitis uh, vac vaccination team of medical uh, professionals supposedly so that they could freaking get DNA from uh, Bin Laden's family his children okay and that's what I'm saying they've been they've been doing that not only for situations like that which don't get me wrong I don't I don't I don't, I don't agree with Bin Laden I don't think anything that he did was he was actually, an informant like you know, the United States definitely <laughs> Like he was an informant. Uh, he was trained CIA. Like he was a puppet. Trained, 
Yeah, yeah he, he, was was, yeah, he was just a, yeah, a little pawn to do the front man work. And it's crazy to me because, I mean, I, like when they tell you they kill their front man, they do not. They go to islands like Epstein Island. Maybe not Epstein because it's not really highly popularized. But there's little pieces of land. I wouldn't doubt that they're in Atlantis. Now I'm going to okay, I'm going to be saying, of course, check with Atlantis. But still, they hide these people so that was because, hey, you do this service for your quote unquote country. We fake your death for you and you get to live happily ever after. And no one ever thinks to question me. Harvey Weinstein and all of these people, like, and it's so crazy because they say that they're going to do that. They tell you that that's what's going to happen. And then you people pop up dead and it sounds like you're a crazy person and I am a crazy person because I'm telling them like oh wow I can't believe they actually popped up dead because they tell you beforehand that this is how they're going to handle the situation and then next thing you know all of a sudden and these people actually quote unquote die but they don't really die as I said there's no way like they, you can, they I can tell you whatever I would like for you to hear but it's the truth of the matter is that I basically have this way of presenting data to work in my favor, even if I know for a fact that this is the true data and it's not at all work in my favor and it would make me look like a crummy crummy Mr. Before, you're not really going to do much about it because you're not going to question me if I tell you someone's dead. You're not going to ask me why all this stuff happens to people. Oh, these are the Same with, okay, 9 11 and these bombers. How do they have all the information? And like, this great of power really has like painted my entire soul, but not really because I already knew, but it's just giving me the factual information to go with, coincide with what I already knew. And it's like they were finding like the identification and the passports of the people. How do you find the passport of somebody that was on a plane that was completely burned up? Like how? Okay, how 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 does the passport drop? somewhere with no type of indication of any type of singes or anything like that and it just ironically shows up right where we needed to be to be able of to course, identify of course. like that's just that's just, like come on and so and then we seek for them to all be trained by united states that right there is indication number one that is nonsense because every single one of them were trained to fly in the united states they're, they're like the United States are training suicide bombers. Like all of that stuff is the same exact. Like I said, with Osama bin Laden, they hit his body. They made it seem like, yeah, I mean, it, it's simple. It's simple to make a replica of clone. They're doing it now. They're doing it. And if anything, they use times like that to be able to do it quickly. To be able to, like, let me just test it. Let me see if this is going to work. Let me see how well I can pull people. You know what I mean? Like, and no, no one's really asking to see the burnt up bodies. In fact, yeah. the body's burned up. There's nothing to see. So there's not really much to question. Well, just so that you guys can sleep better at night, okay? Um, the On the May 16, 2014, the White House announced the CIA will no longer use vaccination programs as a cover for espionage. So, <laughs> uh, why would we have no longer? Why do we have to? So, no right, right. <laughs> so, freaking uh, feel at ease. Your your government's out to take care of you. Oh, yeah. They Definitely. got your back. Oh, Lord of mercy. Of course. As they always have. Your best interest is the forefront and no ulterior motives or hidden agendas whatsoever. I'm saying this. Don't, don't ask why we would have to enact this or, you know. Put this right. in on the books. So just, now, just, this point, uh, just, just understand that we're we're good. We're good. Yeah. From 2014 on, do not question <laughs> what happened. The only, the only reason why they did no that, questions. the only reason why they did that was because there was like multiple, uh, there was multiple uh, um, attacks in Pakistan on vaccine vaccine instit or areas, you know. So. <laughs> So they were getting hit, Stayed. So, and they decided that uh, they decided that they needed to make an official statement. That's what I'm thinking it is. Your your country is good on the cover up. Let me just tell you, you people's country is so good with the cover up. But I say you people because I will, I will validate and I will always promote my hey cover up. <laughs> this is you. This is about you. This is about unity here, man. No, that's this is your country, not my country. <laughs> I don't live here. We, I just, I'm gonna make this is about country. coming together as as one, not about our differences, but about us. As I will a never country. agree with this. This country is so full of trash, and it gets me so annoying. 
It's, well, it's because diversity. they pretend that they're so legit and everything's for you. Well, that's, they're doing it for me. They have to do it for me. That government thing, man. I mean, people get suckered into it so much. And it's so easy for them to, uh, to fall for, you know. So, that's all I'm going to do when it comes to the vaccine. You guys want to start getting into uh, COVID now? Uh, I thought that was kind of touching the same thing. Yeah, I mean, I, I'm actually, y'all got to get head heading, so. All right. Y'all can cover the COVIDs. The convids or the, <laughs> the pandemic, well, pandemic, whatever you want to call it. I was wanting to talk about the Wuhan Institute and see if you guys, what your thoughts were on that. It's all part of the play. You know, it's a big orchestrated play. Yeah. It's an illusion. No. Trickery. And, you, know, and, you know what the Wuhan Institute was, right? Yeah. That was that uh, research Virology. facility. That uh, was like maybe six miles away from Wuhan, the ground zero where COVID right, was where they start. where they claimed it was the wet market. Yeah. Yeah. Now, I've heard stories that uh, the lead researcher, the female that was involved in all that, actually uh, was disappeared. Like they they don't know where she is now. She just kind of what? vanished. Yeah. And the weird, I don't know. yeah, and, and the weird part about it is, is that was their freaking, uh, that was their research, that that research institute, they they specialized in researching COVID. You know? mm -hmm. I mean, and it, but have you been hearing about all the people that have been speaking out against what was going on? There was a scientist. I just watched his documentary, and of course, he didn't want to say his name. He didn't want to be identified. It. And he was discussing about how they had to do stuff. Each one of them had to do little components to kind of put the whole, the whole, I don't know what to do, but the whole quote unquote vaccine, vaccination together. They had to do some type of lab, like every scientist had their little part to play. So they never told you exactly what your part or what the role in the situation was. You just knew that you were developing this aspect. And the next person you were developing this aspect. And then um, it was crazy because it got so far out of hand that literally you don't find out until after it's too late. Like, what, what I'd like to say about the whole convict situation is the all the dancing nurses and... Uh -huh. Practice, yeah, and and whoever was part of all that, y'all should be, all of y'all should be ashamed of yourselves. I can't believe you would sit by and act like you're doing so much and being so rushed with all these people. This it's like a pandemic going on, but you got plenty of time to bust a move in the fucking dance halls and shit. Yes, what the fuck? Yeah. Yes. My mom was on the news with the governor getting a COVID shot. Why, when have you ever seen massive coverage of people getting vaccinated? Oh, I gotta go. They were mom. keeping quiet because they were getting all kinds of COVID money that they never seen before. So they were yep. like, I'm exactly. gonna keep on doing what I just dance on, dance it off like it ain't nothing. Fucking yep. asshole, fucking piece of shit, motherfuckers. TikTok has frustrated me beyond measure because it's literally a complete distraction for us to be able to just ignore what's actually going on around us. Because look at me, I'm so pretty and I dance so poor. And it's like, they, like I'm tired of it. It was like, yo, you really over there. Like, it just popped out right from perfect timing. Like, literally, look when it came out. TikTok got big right when the pandemic began. And it's just ironically enough of exactly what was necessary to keep people from being bored and feeling like killing themselves. And like, these people like die. Like Heroes work here. Motherfuckers. <laughs> <laughs> right, in real time. I now, gotta go. Uh, Roger, I don't wanna go for this talk. Now, the Wuhan Institute, it was associated with uh, Galveston National Laboratory, uh, yeah, laboratory in Texas. And then it was also associated with a, uh, another one in Canada called the National uh, Microbiology Laboratory. So that's something else that I thought was pretty interesting. That Wait, you said Canada? 
Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I heard. I heard it was like can a contract between Canada and then China. Yep. The yep. Wuhan and Fauci's a big player and Trudeau and yeah, it's, it's a big, big uh, club and we're not in it. Yeah, I know a lot of people has been uh, discussing like what's his name, the guy that was the mayor of Governor. And uh, is that Trudeau? No, that's uh, the he's guy. The, in England. He's the prime minister or whatever. Yeah, he's right. prime minister of uh, can or you know right States Canada or Canada. Yeah. Right. Canada. And, uh, kind of like the president. You remember that, uh, governor of New York, the one that ended up getting fired? Uh, he's the one that was. That's going... what you're talking about, Mayor Giuliani? No. Uh, Giuliani um, was governor before him. He, he was the one that kept getting up on, uh, Bloomberg? He, on stage and, and, talking all this great stuff about COVID and what they were doing and come to find out they were like, Oh, oh, you're talking about that one guy, uh, Cuomo. Yeah, Cuomo. Yeah. You know, a lot of people said that he was involved in all that too. And uh, earlier when you guys were talking about uh, these companies having the vaccine, I would even go farther as to say they're the ones that was involved with these organizations mm -hmm. right here from the get-go, researching Extreme it. amount of funding. I would like to see what their books like, what look like around that time. Imagine you know. them getting an excessive amount of funding, an excessive amount of investor support or investor. Um, yeah, but I think I ended up getting cut off real quick. Let me run back and hit that link real quick. Oh yeah, but yeah. as bad yeah. as half the other diseases that are killing people consistently. Like they make the COVID numbers look bad because they'll present it to you. They're showing it to you. They're not telling you how many people are dying of cancer, how many people are dying of AIDS, how many people are dying of heart disease, of liver um, malfunction. Social media, social media and the alternative media that has been infiltrated. And now there's probably more bad actors in the the alternative movements than there are in the bullshit media. People that go yeah. to quote unquote school so they look like bad actors. That's how that's how the the convid crap got spread so fast is because they used the new alternative media and pushed that narrative. I when it when it comes to like media and everything um that's something else that i actually wanted to bring up about this that people aren't really too aware of like uh you guys are still there right okay yeah yeah all right i'm like, still listening yeah I'm just okay uh this is even crazier than just saying journalists because like um the first uh, journalist who documented the wuhan uh coronavirus outbreak okay People don't know that that, that dude freaking vanished. He got disappeared too. So not only- Are you kidding me? No, he's gone. Nobody knows What's where he name? is. What's his name? I got the it's video It's okay if you don't know posted. it now, maybe later, yeah. No, I've, I've got it posted on the chat if you guys want to check them out. Okay, yeah, I will check it out when I get ready to but, go. That's uh, why I was wondering. It's it's a Chinese name. It's just hard to understand. Like, and he I, just dropped off the face of the earth. Now, uh, another woman like, who... With cryptocurrency. Cryptocurrency woman, and COVID people disappearing. Zing Zhan is another woman who was a citizen journalist in China, and she uh, reported just on Wuhan, the coronavirus, and she was uh, sent to jail. Then after that, they sentenced her for four years just for reporting on the coronavirus outbreak and what was it was looking like in uh in Wuhan. So you you've got both of these people, man. One just vanished, disappeared, and then the other one got freaking arrested and sentenced to four years in prison. Yeah. For asking questions. I just saw a meme, a post the other day that says when you become a criminal for discussing the criminal activity 
that's going on around you and you're <laughs> silent for telling the truth, that's how you know that your society is ran by criminals. Like, yeah. Yep. And that's so true. Like, how are you going to jail or getting in trouble because you're telling the truth? Literally, an uh, active act is silent. Corruption. And full on. Beyond measure, just, because it's yeah. been corrupted. But it's just like, you know, they really are want to implement this new world order sooner than later. But I hear by 2026, we can pretty much kiss our rear hides goodbye from our traditional way of acting and thinking. Well, the thing that gets me, though, you know what I mean? The United States will go over and argue over some freaking Olympic uh, athlete who got busted in Russia <laughs> for smoking pot. And is being put in jail and possible prison, which she deserves because it's illegal to do that. If it's if she was somewhere where it wasn't illegal, then it's freaking okay. Smoke. That's how I feel. But she broke the law. You know what I mean? But then they turn around and they freaking look at these people who freaking were there reporting on the situation in China before it even became public. Okay, and got a, one just vanishes, and that would would have been important to know, you know, or two actually. It was the the researcher and the reporter, and then the woman who went in there to do it, she got arrested. You know, why isn't the United States freaking saying something about that? You know, it's like, what's going on there? Why is this such a secret? It's because they know, they know exactly what they were probably involved when those people getting disappeared and freaking being put in prison because and <laughs> uh yeah they know because they probably were the ones that did it <laughs> yeah exactly yeah. Like, i don't think that they even disappeared i think that they're somewhere off doing research on a little island to, um, <laughs> with something more destructive than what's already been implemented yeah mm-hmm. well i gotta bow out y'all y'all enjoy the rest of the conversation i appreciate you inviting right. me we're glad that you were here, man, um, and yep. I appreciate it. Cool. Um, see you next time. See you next time. Thank you. Peace. See you do better. Thanks for coming. Now, uh, that one thing that I was talking about, too, was uh, the genetic uh, aspect of it. Like, one thing that I find disturbing is the fact that uh, now, all of a sudden, they start coming out with this genetically modified vaccine from Pfizer and uh everybody's got this attitude now oh look pfizer just saved us from freaking the coronavirus you know it's okay to have genetically modified medicines yeah and i i just i have a problem with that i don't think that that's a good thing i think uh and and i think that it opened a floodgate to a lot more problems that are going to take place because like Everybody wonders. You just want to be able. Yeah. Yep. Are you? Is your phone okay? I think you're losing your signal. Yeah. Can you hear me? I I, I mean, can hear I can you, but hear you really good. I put it on Wi-Fi. Okay. I mean, like you hear them yelling in the background, and it's, this is my my way of multitasking. These people, uh, I don't. I have no idea. But yeah, they. Uh, I think that eventually that that is going to cause some issues because like uh like look at people with uh people with a uh, freaking uh with a uh, uh, sugar diabetes you know what I mean um, they they're taking that insulin and that insulin has uh, genetically modified or it's been genetically modified. And they're saying, oh, we have to do that because we need to freaking be able to produce enough to handle everybody. But the big issue is the fact that if you look at it, people, more and more people are uh, becoming uh, diabetics as years go by, you know. So that's another thing that shows me that that genetically modified uh, uh insulin isn't doing its job instead of it taking care of the problem and making things better it's not changing it at all you know but I <laughs> karma <coughs> she she got booted I'll tell her she has to hit the link 
You have to click on the on the link. Yeah. They just did that to me too. It just did that to me too. I'll tell her that. They just didn't know because they were in the middle of a, a, a real intense conversation. But that's uh, the thing that really catches my eye when it comes to it. Like I, I, I believe that it's going to cause a lot of issues when it comes to um, uh, the whole genetically modified uh, uh, theory behind it, you know? Like, I just, I think that it's kind of like an endorsement and they're like wanting to showcase it and say that it's okay to freaking make more and more medicines and vaccines with uh, genetically modified uh, materials. And eventually, that's what they're going to go for. With it. And you can see it on television with the commercials and stuff like that. So I, I do know that, well, I personally see that. I ain't going to say that I do know because I'm not the only person on this planet. And I could be wrong, but I doubt it when it comes to that because I, I have complete and total mistrust when it comes to the medical profession. Boy, you missed it, Karma. I said my whole piece on the genetically modified stuff, so... I mean, I'm good. You need to unmute your mic. For some reason, it's starting to mute every time you come in, so... Now, uh... Are you there? <laughs> All right, now, um, also, there, let me go in here and check and see. I've covered the Matamata disease, the Wuhan Institute. I've discussed the uh, journalists that were uh, involved, and one was disappeared, and the other one was... Uh, put in prison for four years then the journalist who actually uh, announced to the rest of the world about Wuhan and the coronavirus he was disappeared the lead researcher at the Wuhan Institute who was actually researching coronaviruses of all things and they've even got a document of the bats in the caves that she was going up and getting samples from is available I mean you can watch all of that so you, there's no doubt that she was involved in researching COVID and the thing I'm trying to make a point here is that she is gone too nobody knows where her location is what's happened to her or anything like that so I wanted to cover all that and, uh, Robot said he was going to be here but he just, he just finked out. He, he just did it to me again. He did. He yeah. just did not no call no show. He just, yeah, he's real, he's hit or miss. Well, this time, this time it was the topic that he always wanted to talk about on here. And he, he got what he wanted. And you know what he did? He, sh he didn't show up for his own freaking prom, dude. That's what happened. <laughs> That's so funny. He, he he put it all together, and then he was just like, oh, I'm not going to make it. That's so funny. Yeah. They're like, come on, man. Are you serious? Oh, there's something else. We'll just else. have to revisit the subject matter. There's something else before we decided to go anywhere I wanted to mention. Uh, John, after the interview we did, he decided that he's going to get back into doing the wonderful world of uh, weirdness and he's going to do the interview format like we're doing now he's asked me if i wanted to do an interview with him but he also wants to know if you're willing to do an interview for him too karma 
Oh yeah, definitely. You know I'm always down for a good interview. Yeah. Always. Yeah. Hey. That's awesome. Did you tell him how interested I was in the fact that he was talking about him being yeah. a healer and all that? Okay, good. Yeah. yeah. He cool. actually uh, watched the videos, so he he knows what you were talking about. And his topics are going to be more on the line about people with different spiritual uh, beliefs and outlooks and stuff. <laughs> oh, he, nice. When are we going to, do we know a date yet? Or that's that all on or? him. Um, he's going to do it with uh, with us on his channel. So there'll be a chance to reach out. Now, the only thing I ask is you need to behave. Okay, because you're a wild woman. Okay, I know. No, yeah, really? You yeah. know what? You're a horrible influence on my existence. Let's just call, let's just call a spade a spade. You don't you dare. Uh, I'm a good girl. And then I started linking with you bad boys. And that's what's happening. You know. but, that's what's happening. But yeah, you... Uh, I told him that I would talk to you and see if you'd be willing to do it and everything first because I just... I know that it would be something that that would be of interest for both of you because you, you talk basically about the same stuff that he's wanting to talk about so yeah i think we could get him on the show like to like link maybe we can have a co-host right. calls type of thing yeah he said he's definitely coming back it's just uh this time a time this time i'm going to do it on the specific topic of uh the strangeness or conspiracy which he'd be more on the strangeness thing i'm gonna take the part one off of his uh, first one because that was more of his life story you know what i mean and then like we can focus more on uh, the healing and stuff like that with him and put it on uh these streams right here does that make sense Oh. Definitely, yeah, I'm all for it. And like I said, it, this is the last time I had this issue. Because oh, don't worry I, about I, it. Yeah, I just, uh, we, they miscommunicated the information. In fact, I'm getting ready to leave now. It was literally quick, straight and simple to the point. But, um, yeah, I would definitely be interested. I wish we could get, like, because that will be maybe, what do you think that art stuff is? Strangeness? Or do we think that it's more like, uh, is it strangeness or it's not strangeness? Well, the, the thing about it is, is I just had to uh, change the name of my uh, channel on YouTube because it was longer and it was hard to find in the search engines. So on that one I called it uh, uh, Strange Stories. So the reason why I named that Strangeness is because freaking there's a different levels of strangeness okay there's yeah. there's natural strange then there's, and there's super, strange. <laughs> then supernatural and then paranormal okay so yeah. so i mean strangeness is it's actually a terminology you know what i'm saying it's not just a, a generalization type thing yeah yeah it, it's so that's that's the reason why i uh named it strangeness because like eventually i'd like to talk about things like uh i'd like to talk about the elastic man or there's also a church that's over in europe that's freaking built out of nothing but human bones what yeah i apologize what are yeah. you kidding me yeah what, what do, do we know the name of this place I can bring it up at another time. Oh man, I'm gonna just Google. Yeah, we wanna have to Google that because, like, that's insane. A church, though. Yeah, everything. Oh, disgusting. I see he did his wonderful world of weirdness. So I feel like, yeah, he's definitely a essential component to our thing. We gotta yeah. bring him. He has to link with us. Like, yeah, I do the interview, but I definitely wanna do more than just the interview because, like, I would hope to be able to see him on a more consistent basis as well. Just given the nature and circumstance of the information we have with him. See, see, I'm getting mixed signals here. Are you wanting to date, John? Wait, hold on. Are you kidding me? Wait, is that, does he have a? <laughs> that, you see, he and who's Adrian? Isn't that his partner now? I don't want to step nah, on any toes. So. Adrian is his uh, his buddy that did the music. Like on his videos, when you see the intro and you hear the yeah. music on there, that's that's his buddy who did all that. Is he cute? 
Shut up. Stop. No, no, no. What are you... How are hey. you going to call this man ugly on Steam? What is wrong with you? That's so rude. He's probably my type. No, a Adrian. You don't know my type. I'm talking hey. about John. Oh, you're talking to me? Yeah, I was talking about John. John killed. Oh, we're John? Yeah, is he kidding? Well, he's married, so that's... Oh, what are you talking about? Do I want to date? You don't want to in trouble. No. <laughs> Well, I, I don't want to date a man, man. I'm no mistress. Uh, no. I'm a poor monster. I was getting kind of mixed no, signals there. I didn't closing. know for sure, so I had to, I had to make sure. Uh, Roger, no. Okay. I don't want to date anyone. I respect it. Like, like right now, men are, no, men are not dating material right now, at least from what I see. I appreciate the gesture, especially not a married one. Are you kidding well, me, boy? You check me out. I just, I just wanted to clear that up though so you officially said I'm glad said, so I won't flirt too much I won't flirt yeah. too much you'd be you'd be alright don't worry about it yeah especially no accents you know what I mean those accents are kind of my weak point yeah I know especially you and you and your country accent it's so funny you have a, a southern accent and a deep voice listen I be talking about you on my stream and I call you Mr. Hanson I know I never call you that but it makes <laughs> you sound so much more mysterious when I'm talking about <laughs> and I'm like hey Mr. Hanson I'm like yeah, y'all better be Mr. Hanson alone like it's so funny when I talk about you because like I think you, could have, you would get a kick out of it in real time <laughs> so <laughs> it's so funny but um no I don't want to you better have a country accent, then you have robot who has his New Zealand, Australian, wherever he's from accent. And then uh who did we do the other day? Nostalgia dreaming. He's Scottish, which I didn't see that coming from a mile away. So yeah. Now John is from Wales. And he, he he's not he's not into being called English. He's not he's not from England or London. He's from Wales. So. Okay, I will not make that mistake so definitely just, uh, not feel like disrespecting I, anyone who's coming not, not to until, us at all i didn't know what that happened that, hold on i'm leaving where, 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 let's go well um, i want you to tell me what happened what happened when regards to yesterday and oh, i want we can we can do that uh, in a little bit because i'm uh in the middle of a recording too so like we can we can talk oh, okay, about okay, okay. But it wasn't it wasn't anything big. It was just I had a bad day. Nothing about it. I got over it. Yeah. No, it wasn't that. But um I think I think we covered everything, so we should probably get off here, especially considering your phone's going crazy and we can uh, continue the conversation on in a second. Okay. Okay. And uh, yeah, so you're gonna you're gonna stop recording and then come like what? Yeah, we're I'll staying on Jitsi in. though. I'll stay on Jitsi. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, but, yeah uh, I'm done in the gym and stuff like that now, so I can listen and talk. And okay. We have to do our thing. But let me end this. Uh, anybody who watched this. Uh, we appreciate you stopping by and watching it. Uh, I want to thank uh, um, Do Better for showing up. That was a big deal. And uh, thank you, Karma, for being my co-host. I think it was this Holly, show. Thank last you for week. having me. Wasn't it this show that last week that I finally said that, or was it on Strangeness? I think so. It might have been Friday though. I don't remember, but it was just us, and I was just so excited. Yeah. I was like, Woo! Yeah, so it was probably outside. You know, I was at basketball, so it was last week. Yeah, yeah. So, it might have been strange this Wednesday because I wouldn't do basketball last week. So I wanted to say thank you for that, and we are going to go ahead and end this and be done with all this mess. Awesome, okie dokie. I will talk to you in a little bit, okay? Okay, sounds good. Bye bye. Yeah.